All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to be showing you how to disable a couple of different settings on Windows that prevent you from installing different software on your computer. The first one is the restrictions in apps and features. This is the one where Microsoft wants to prevent you from installing software that isn't just directly from the Microsoft Store or has a proper, like, signed registered signature with Microsoft themselves. And so to disable this, all you have to do is look up your apps and features section using the Windows search bar. And then from here, up at the top here, you have this installing apps only from Microsoft Store helps to protect your device. And you can change this to installing apps from anywhere. This will allow you to then download like software like DS4 Windows or VLC Media Player from the web and install it on your own on your computer without having to go directly through the Windows App Store because not everything's on there. The other thing that you can do is you'll want to go and disable the Windows Smart Screen Filter, which is available inside of the Windows Security window. So Windows Security, you can access very similarly by looking it up in the Windows search bar. From here, we want to go to Apps and or App and Browser Control in the left-hand sidebar, and we want to go to the reputation-based protection. Inside of here, we want to disable these top three options for checking apps and files. You'll maybe go off to the side in a little pop-up window that will ask you to verify if you want to do this with administrative permission. Just go ahead and click yes, and then also disable smart screen for Microsoft Edge. And what disabling these options is going to do, make sure you've got all three of these disabled, is this is going to disable Microsoft filtering what you can or cannot download and run for software on your computer because a lot of completely legitimate indie developed software like VLC Media Player, like I mentioned earlier, can get caught by these filters, which prevent you from downloading and installing perfectly good software that helps you in a number of different ways. However, a little disclaimer at the end of this video, this does mean that you yourself have to be the one that pays attention to what you are downloading and running on your computer. These are fail safes that Microsoft has put in place to try to protect the average user who may not be as tech savvy. So that's worth remembering when you disable these settings that they do provide you with a certain level of protection from accidentally downloading and running suspicious or malicious software. Although the vast majority of stuff out there that you probably want to download and play around with is probably not that malicious or bad. Uh, a good example of a software that I recently downloaded that kind of fits that category is I downloaded a recipe keeper app in order to keep all of my personal recipes that I myself have created organized and in a downloadable format on my computer. So that'd be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will catch you next time.